Sean's Morning Yoga Challenge. Day 5, Standing Flow. My friends, it's Coach Vig. Welcome to day five of your seven day morning yoga challenge. And let's take a moment to let this backdrop sink in. I have not been up here since summer. A little more rustic today getting here. I had to cross a couple ice bridges, but I'll do it for you and I'll do it for myself so we can do day five together. This is all standing yoga poses and flows. Let's get to it. Breathing in the nose and out. The nose, make sure you check in below, subscribe, like, share the challenge. Seven days of unique and challenging yoga flows. Let's begin standing because that's the title of this flow. Feet hip width apart, shoulder rolls, little side view here. Inhale up, exhale back and down. Maybe do a little ice fishing later. Every time you exhale, pull those belly buttons, those belly buttons, that belly button into the spine. It's going to give you a lift. It's also going to increase your breath support and power and efficiency. Two more times. Relax the jaw. Lengthen those legs. Keep the knees a little bit soft. One at a time. Roll them back. No pressure on the hands or wrists today, my friends. Unless it's mental pressure. Okay. Four more times. There's that twist. Wake up in the morning or do this flow anytime during the day. You need a boost. Lace the fingers. Open the chest. The mudra. Bring the palms together if you're able. Five breaths. Let's open up the um, chest and shoulders. If you want to add something, knee ups. Great way to get the hip flexors going. Open the chest. We want blood flow. I'm on the lookout for bear. Z. No Addy today, so I'm on my own. And that pickup truck back there. All right. Bring the feet down. Open, open. Okay. Arms up over the head. Side bends back and forth. Inhale to the center. Exhale to the side. Always modify as needed. Use control and listen. Listen to your body. It will educate you. If you put your ear to it, it will always tell you what's going on and what you need to do to avoid any problems. Okay, one more time each side. These side bends are great for opening up the spine flexing the spine and stretching the sides. Inhale, arms up, back bend. And cactus arms, cactus arms. Let's begin the flow. We're moving. Cross the arms in the front. Inhale up, exhale, cactus arms. I do this with my live classes all the time, this warm-up, with some variations. But the key is postural and alignment study, and then putting it into practice. Two more times. In the nose and out the nose. Have a little sun out there. Hope I look all right, because that's all that matters, right? Okay, take the arms up. Cactus arms opening, opening, opening. Palms together, up, open, cactus arms. Let's do that two more times. Breath and movement connected and flowing together. Once more. Open, open, ah. Oh. Okay, keep that movement going. Once you step to the back edge of your mat, shoulder rolls back and down, and then step the right foot forward, lunge. What is that on the mat? I don't want to know. Full lunge right here. Let's practice it. Let's even it out. I'm on a little uneven surface here, which adds a challenge for me I like, but I got to be careful so I don't plummet down into the lake. Shoulders back and down. Sink that left heel down. Really stretch that back leg and the right knee and ankle lined up. Arms up. Five breaths. The crescent lunge. As you exhale, sink into the legs. As you inhale, reach back. Find your focus. Focus determines your reality, my friend. 
Far too much we blame other people for our lack of focus. We must take control of it. We must. One more breath. Hands together. Prayer twist. Left arm to the right leg. Draw the right shoulder back. Five breaths. Each exhale, open the chest, well, the chest, and twist. Move into that threshold where your body starts to push back and use your breath and that magical focus again to move further. Okay, now step the left foot forward. Oh, all right, shake it out. Couple shoulder rolls. Good, tuck in that shirt. Oh my, is that important. Bring the right foot back, lunge. Lunge studies, the feet are staggered. They're not lined up. If they are, you're really gonna teeter and perhaps totter. Shoulders back and down, right heel pressing back, knee over the ankle, and we reach triumphantly. Five breaths. sinking that right heel down, contracting the front leg and stretching the back. Let's twist, hands together, twist to the left. Five breaths. Mm, good, a dialogue, the breath and the body, swapping stories back and forth. One more breath. Okay, back up, step forward, oh, shake out the legs. Forward fold, relax the wrists, walking the legs. If you want, you can gently place the hands on the mat, but no pressure. 10 steps, two, three, four, elongate that spine, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, rising up. Whew, active tree. These trees are not active behind me. Our tree is going to move. Feet hip width. Open up your left hip, palms together. Or take the heel below or above the knee or ankle on top of the thigh. Hold here or add movement. We're going to reach up and then open in cactus arms. Five times total. Here's two. Good balance. Balance, balance. Three more times. <laughs> I should smile more. That's good. Smiling is my favorite. Two more. Good. Balance it out. Balance it out. One more time. We're going to open. Keep those, keep that cactus arm. Right foot back. Lunge with the cactus arms. Open the breath. You let that breath flow and your day shall be mighty. It shall be focused, it shall be energized. All right, arms out, airplane. Some of my favorites coming home to roost. Reach the arms up, engage the upper back and shoulders. Two more breaths. Sink the right heel down. Okay, reach forward, extend. Long spine, strong abdominals, stepping forward. And we open. Other side, tree, look at that. Not wasting a moment, find your variation. If you wish to add the movement, here we go, five times. Inhale up, smooth. And two. Three. Two more times. Day five, seven day morning yoga challenge. One more time. Thought I saw something. Freeze it with cactus arms, left foot back. Oh, there's that cactus lunge open. Let the shoulders slide down the back. Press the left heel down. A lot of balance. And then airplane. 
My foot is on a pebble. Here we are. Arms up. You want blood flow? Get that body alive. Wake it up. Ready to adapt to anything, whatever you have during your day. And then we extend. This puts us in perfect position for the chair, the flying chair. Feet hip width apart, press back, reach the arms back, palms down. For more, we have tippy toes, but keep pressing into the glutes, five breaths. Oh, balance, core strength. Spitting. <laughs> oh, oh, what happened there? It's that flying chair, it's the in-flight peanuts. One more breath. All right, forward fold mudra, one of our favorites. Lace the fingers. This is too much. Cross the arms here or let the arms fall. Bend the knees slightly. Draw back. There we are. Opening the chest. Three more breaths. The arms drop, rising up in our winter wonder land. Whew, shoulders back and down. One more. Let the blood drain out of the head. Okay, stepping back to triangle. Right foot goes back. Turn the right foot in. Line up the heels. A little bit of a decline this time. Let's keep it interesting. You're probably on a nice flat surface. I don't need a leveler to tell me this is a little off but anything to be out here. Hinge forward, let's go with the classic triangle first. Back of the hand to the leg, right arm up. So we open up the entire upper body while engaging the legs. Four breaths. Excellent, one more breath. Draw the right arm back. A Little bit of sun shining down on us. Going to warrior two, bend the left leg, arms out. Shoulders right above the hips, three breaths. Good, engage the legs, get them warmed up. I assume you'll be using them quite a bit today. Okay, side angle, forearm to the leg. Extend the right arm, long stretch down the side. Press your right heel down into the center of the earth. Four breaths. Stay here or take this arm to the back. Roll the shoulder back. This beautiful opening in the chest. Let the energy pour forth in great amounts. I say four breaths. Here we are. Lots of twisting, lots of rotation. Release the lower back. Mm. Okay, let's take that right foot, step it forward. Boom, other side, triangle. Proper spacing. You don't wanna go too wide or the foot will just slide right into the snow. Arms out. I'm trying not to slide myself. Four more breaths. And then warrior two, boom, arms out. Take three breaths. into side angle. There's that pebble, let me get past that pebble. I thought the crew would remove it, but they're off roasting something. Let's add to the twist, the arm comes to the back, roll the left shoulder back. Four breaths, make them count. Ah, oh, 
Excellent. Okay, unravel. Left foot forward, take a little wider. Whoops. <laughs> Mudra dive. Here we are again. Forward fold, five breaths. Ooh, adjustments. Those are part of the part of the meal. Those are included. Good melting with that breath. Drop the arms. Let's go into a eagle. Ooh, a few shoulder rolls first. Ooh. Good. Let the blood move out of the head. Mm -hmm. Eagle pose, feet hip width. Chair pose. We're going to add on our beautiful, sumptuous eagle. Press back. So half eagle. Take the right arm forward. Left arm goes underneath and around. Fists together if you can't come all the way around. It's process, practice, practice. And you will eventually come here. Fingers up, shoulders down, elbows forward. So stretch out that upper body. For full eagle, it's your left leg. Bring it high and wrap it around the right leg. Within reason, five breaths. One more breath. <sighs> Step the left foot back. Eagle lunge, one of my staples. Oh, here we are. Fingers up, shoulders down, elbows forward. I, I trust that pretty much our entire body is working together in this pose right here. Upper, lower, sides, front, back. If you wish, add a little movement. <laughs> Really targeting the core. It's my right quad I'm feeling. Woo! And I'm doing yoga in a winter wonderland. Eagle in a winter wonderland. One more breath, whatever you're doing. See that day ahead. Now step forward. Oh, my right quad was going, oh, dive down. Eagle forward fold, sway side to side. Decompress the spine. Okay, rising up. As you come up, oh, the eagle falls apart. <sighs> Ooh. Ooh quick shake. Sometimes I talk too much, get a little lightheaded. Filming today, I'm about a few hundred feet higher than normal, so I'm probably feeling that. A nice whoosh. My eagle soars. Eagle, other side. That's S-O-A-R, by the way. Okay, press back. Chair, left arm forward, right arm underneath. Wrapping, wrapping. Fingers up, shoulders down. Elbows forward. Always check your surroundings, okay? It was up there on that hill, one of those where I bumped into a bear a few months ago. It's like a scene out of a Disney movie, kind of. But you gotta be very careful. All right, full eagle, right leg crosses, sinking down, five breaths. Let me relax. There we are. One more breath. That's good. We always shake. Just when we think we may know something, maybe overconfident, we learn. We gotta keep practicing. It's good. Here's the lunge eagle. Five breaths. Staying here or add the movement. It's up to you. What kind of day are you gonna have today? What kind of day is he going to have purpose? You're going to be productive. You're going to help serve other people. How are you going to interact with people? All right, 
one more breath. All right, and now step it forward. Take it as wide as you like. I'm gonna keep it on the mat because there's some cold earth here. Whew. Side to side. Was war das? Weiß ich nicht. Ich bin verwirrt. Okay, unravel. I'm gonna come up slowly on this one. I got too excited last time. Whew, a few shoulder rolls. We're gonna go into the catcher's squat. Okay, the frozen tundra. Feet wide, on a diagonal. Two options, one, take the hands here or the forearms, working that nice openness in the hips and the glutes and et cetera, or come all the way down, hands together. Let's do 10 breaths. Let your tailbone sink down. Keep those shoulders relaxed and down too. The chest is open. Alignment is always there. There's the sun, hello. Hello again, hello. Breathe. There's three breaths, three out of 10. Use the elbows to open the hips further. In the nose and out the nose. Okay, I'm gonna do three more breaths. Make them deep. Breathe into the front, the sides, and your back. Hmm. Okay. Uh, come on up, forward fold. Cross the arms. Five breaths. Okay, rising up, stacking. Let me take it slow. There's that truck again. He wants to film a yoga workout, but I got here first. Shoulder roll, shoulder rolls, my friends. Okay, shake it out. Feet hip width, side bends. Let's finish it up. Beautiful day five of your seven day morning yoga challenge. By the way, the link to all seven is in the about section below. Bookmark that. Okay. Hope you've been enjoying these flows. It's my goal to make them very diverse, challenging in their own ways because it is called a challenge. So every day bring something different to help you grow, get stronger and release everything. Cactus arms, open, open, open. One more time, bring the arms up, cactus arms. And I hope you enjoyed the spot today as well. Palms together, hands coming down. And that does it, my friends. Wonderful, wonderful work. It is a pleasure to tray with you. I don't say it enough, I'm sure, but thank you for choosing Sean Vig Fitness, Coach Vig, to train with me. I know there's thousands of wonderful options out there, so I'm always very, very flattered and honored that you are training with me. We're training together today. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. If this video helped, press the like button, and please share this on your social media. I have my Instagram page. It's at Sean Vig Fitness. You can tag me, and on Facebook at Sean Vig. Okay, we got that out of the way. We have two days left. I'm looking forward to seeing you tomorrow for day six, and who knows what it will hold. Wonderful practice today, my friends. God bless. We'll see you tomorrow.